Thank you very much. I am real excited about tonight's show for a special reason, and I want you to get on with it, because I'm excited about it. Thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate that. He wouldn't kid about a thing like this, either. You know, as the football strike continues, millions of sports-hungry Americans are discovering the spine-tingling thrills, the heart-pounding excitement of televised golf. Not wanting to be left out, we have constructed a golf course of our own right here in the studio, perhaps the most challenging course in the building. And tonight we will play the first round of the 1982 Late Night Invitational Open. Now, we have two people that we have pre-selected in our studio audience to participate in this round of golf with us. And apparently they've gone home early, so... Does this ring a bell with it? Here they are, yes. Come on down, if you will, folks. How are you? Come, come right on in. What is your name? Carol Cooper. Carol, nice to see you. Carol, where are you from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Grand Rapids, Michigan. You said that. There you go. That's your club, of course. Right. And uh, you, sir, are? Ken Cooper. Ken Cooper. And yeah. you're related, I'm guessing. Yeah. yeah. I'm Husband and wife? Husband and wife. Have you play much golf? Yes, I play quite a bit. Okay, well, this should be a lot of fun for one and all. Not this type, really. But, uh, <laughs> well, it's size. pretty much similar. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here, right here, is the first hole. Uh, now, this hole is deceptively simple. Carol, do you want to shoot the first one? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, not, not deceptively simple. It's just plain simple. In fact, it's a par one. We like to think of this hole kind of a confidence booster. Go ahead, Carol, if you will. The confidence boosting... Oh, congratulations. Come on over here, if you will, folks. Oh, we have to go all the way back around here. Now, this is... Hole number two. Ken, I think you'll take a turn here. Hole number two. <laughs> yes, this is hole number two, ladies and gentlemen. This is a little more difficult. It says here this one is based on a popular television personality, but it gives no indication who it is. Ken, go up there and uh, take a shot there, if you will. Hole number two. Hole number two. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Good heavens, thank you very much, Ken. Now let's move on to hole number three, shall we? Uh, let me be, uh, wait a minute, where's hole number three? Oh, right here. Now this is an interesting story. The fifth grade of St. Monica's uh, Elementary constructed this hole out of last Thursday's school lunch. <laughs> this, this tricky and rapidly decomposing hole features a lime jello fairway, a carrot and raisin salad bunker, and an iceberg lettuce green. One final warning, don't take that sloppy Joe Hazard lightly. It's piping hot. Okay, let's... Back over... No, you don't need to... No, you don't... Some of you, you get to play the full course a little bit later. Let me be frank about hole number four. This is a solid wall, and I really don't see how you can get a ball through to the other side, and I'm not sure why the propeller is here. Boy, is there a story behind this sucker. Well, here we are at hole number five. Seems pretty straightforward, but beware. Between you and the cup lies boxing promoter Don King and his two woolly pals, Marty Allen and Gene Shallot. This bushy hazard is a veritable graveyard of lost balls. Carol and Ken, come on through here, if you will. Yes, uh, this is, of course, our relaxing 10th hole lounge. You'll be able to, we'll tell you all about that later. And here we are, all the way up to... Uh, why, this is hole number six. Come on in, folks. Good? Yeah, and uh, who, who shot the last one? Sure, Carol, go right ahead. Uh, now, you should feel right at home here at hole number six. It's like playing golf in your own living room. Once you've negotiated this pile of laundry here, you've still got to contend with the treacherous couch trap. Go ahead, Carol, give it a shot, if you will. <laughs> oh, my. What happened? I don't know. It's... Well, oh, it's over there behind the couch. You get the idea. Come on along. See, see we have uh, all of this. See, it's just like home. You have all of this. See, this is how it'd be if it was in your own home. You'd... All right, let's go on there to here. Oh, now, this is exciting. This is hole number seven. Ken, why don't you go up there and give this one a shot? Yes, sir. Now, uh, this might look like something from outer space, and that's because it is. It's the black hole of space. Now, we don't know exactly what happens to your ball when it passes through this space warp, but when it... But when it, but when it returns to our dimension, it has become a polyhedron. See how strange that is, ladies and gentlemen? The polyhedron. Carol, Ken, walk this way, if you will. Having some fun now, aren't we? Oh, great. <laughs> yes. Okay, here we are. Now, this is hole number eight. We call this one the hole of horrors. And, uh, Carol, I guess that's uh, you, yeah. 
Uh, it's not for the faint-hearted. Your ball will be scared out of its tiny wits by the spooky goings-on in this haunted mansion. Uh, this is the hole that gave Lee Trevino so much trouble in the open back in 78. Go ahead, Carol. Knock it right in there. Tap it right in there. Very nicely done. See what happens. <laughs> Very nicely done. Thank you very much. All right, now. Here we are, hole number nine. Now, this last hole is relatively easy, as you can see here, Ken. The only obstacles to watch are uh, that small sand trap right over there and Dale, the psychotic NBC page. Let's give it a try, shall we? Good luck to both of you, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Watch out for Dale, the psychotic page. I'm the best damn page at NBC, and Dale, nobody makes a monkey out of me. Not you, Dale, not your guests, not your don't audience members, it. nobody. This is my ball. It's Dale. I'm the best page at NBC. Fine, Thank you very much. I always have been. Dale. This is my ball. Uh, uh, Carol and Ken will begin their round of golf right after this. We'll be meeting presidential speechwriters Vic Gold and Bob Wood.